You live in a boring small town where there ain't shit to do for fun. Yeah, I do. Oh my god, how did he know? Do you end up frequently consuming magic substances for fun? Yes, yes I do. Me too. That is so crazy. So crazy. So crazy. Because this video just happens to be perfect for you then. Because I'm going to run you through 25 astronomical things to do after puffing that magic dragon. We're going to start with some super chill shit that you can do in the comfort of your own home and get progressively more intense as we go along. Number one, eat a pop tart, bro. Trust me, just do it. Number two, watch a trippy YouTube video. Now, I'm sure most of us have done this already. But if you haven't tried this, just search some shit up like watch this video well, high as fuck, and then proceed to trip balls. Number three, play video games. Make sure you play Minecraft, bro. If you don't have Minecraft, buy that shit right now. Number four. Beat your m number five. Ride a bike. You go down one hill on a bike and you're gonna feel like you're flying, bro. Just make sure you aren't too blasted or you'll end up eating concrete. Number six, jump on a trampoline. And you need a homie to double bounce you into space. Number seven, listen to literally any of these songs. Number eight, watch anime. Specifically, all 1,038 episodes of One Piece. I'm playing. But if you want a real brain fuck, hop onto Netflix and watch Devilman Crybaby. Eat some cereal. God motherfucking damn, that shit's good as fuck. Number 10, virtual reality. Bro, with the VR headset, you have access to every human emotion at your fingertips. You can go from just chilling in a little puzzle game to fighting for your life in a horror game. But you gotta be mentally deranged to put on a horror game, bro. Come on now. <laughs> alright, alright. Now I'm done with the at-home stuff. It's time to get into some of the more creative and risky ideas. Number 11. Operate heavy machinery. You gotta be high as balls to suggest putting a forklift on a forklift. For legal reasons, this is a joke. And I do not promote or condone operating heavy machinery whilst under the influence. Number 12. Go to an all-you-can-eat buffet. And if you want to make this one a little more exciting, take the homies with you and whoever eats the least has to pay for everyone. Number 13. Chill in a hot tub. <laughs> Number 14. Lay down on a skateboard and bomb a hill. Hey, be safe though. Number 15, go to a movie theater and most definitely watch a Christopher Nolan movie if possible. The prophecy is true. 15 and a half. DM me on Instagram. Bro though, I love talking to you guys. Number 16. If it's snowing, you got to take advantage of this opportunity by going sledding. Or even too big. Just make sure you really, really, really bundle up because being cold while you're high is just straight ass. Number 17. Commit arson. I'm obviously joking. But a little fire with some marshmallows to make some s'mores with hits different while high. Genuinely one of my favorite things to do. Number 18, go on a roller coaster. <laughs> Number 19, go to a concert where you're standing or in a mosh pit. Personally, I recommend a concert in a small venue like performed by like a local indie artist or something. You don't even have to know a single song by them. Just sway back and forth with everyone else and feel the vibes, man. Bruh. Number 20, harass your Slim Jim. Okay, on to the last five things. These next few things are gonna be a bit extreme and wild and crazy and fucked up. Number 21, do your homework. Number 22, clean your room. Okay, I know, I know, that's not what you're expecting, but let's be real here. I'm not getting up 
to clean my room when my body is physically fused with the couch. If you are, you're just cut from a different cloth, bro. Couldn't be me. Anyway, let's finish this list off strong. Number 23, ice skating. If you can skate somewhat fast, you're gonna feel like you're actually gliding on clouds and it's not as tiring as you think, so I recommend it. Number 24, a trampoline park. Bro, this is completely different from just jumping on one singular trampoline. You got hundreds and hundreds of trampolines to go boing boing jump jump on and make you all happy. There's so much shit to do here. You got trampoline dodgeballs. You got the big ass foam pit to throw yourself into. You got the basketball nets. But the best part of all is when they cut the lights and everything glows in the dark. It'll make you feel like a little kid again, man. Now, last but most definitely not least, number 25. Now, this might not be the most extreme crazy thing on the list, but it'll end in a fun experience or a good story and it's something everybody can do. First, set a destination and then go on a little adventure. Maybe an adventure to McDonald's, a hike, exploring abandoned buildings, you can really make it as chill or as extreme as you'd like. Just be safe and don't drive. If you end up trying any of these or have any ideas you'd like to add to the list, let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching. Bye.